The Tale of City Mouse and Country Mouse Once upon a time, in a cozy little burrow nestled in a green meadow, lived a mouse named Country Mouse. She loved the simple life, waking up to the songs of birds, nibbling on fresh grains and fruits, and watching the sun set behind rolling hills. Every day was peaceful, and she had everything she needed. One day, Country Mouse received a letter from her cousin, City Mouse. He lived far away in a bustling city full of towering buildings and bright lights. Dear cousin, the letter read, come visit me in the city. It's full of wonders you've never imagined. You won't believe the delicious food I can show you. Excited by the invitation, Country Mouse packed her little satchel with her favorite seeds and berries and set off for the big city. After a long journey, Country Mouse arrived at City Mouse's home. His house was inside a grand, tall building made of shiny bricks. Everything in the city was fast and noisy, people hurried through the streets, cars honked loudly, and bright lights flickered all around. Welcome, cousin, said City Mouse, with a grand sweep of his paw. Let me show you around. City Mouse led Country Mouse to the fanciest dinner table she had ever seen. It was covered in all kinds of delicious food, cheese, pastries, bread, and even tiny crumbs of cakes. Wow, said Country Mouse, her eyes wide with wonder. This is so much food. You must feast like a king every day. City Mouse smiled proudly. I do. Help yourself, cousin. Just as they began to nibble on the delicious treats, a loud noise startled them, a cat. It prowled around the room, its sharp eyes scanning for any sign of the mice. Quick, hide, whispered City Mouse, darting into a tiny hole in the wall. Country Mouse followed, her heart pounding in her chest. Once the cat had left, City Mouse crawled back out. See? No big deal. You just have to be fast. Country Mouse's paws were still shaking. Does that happen often? she asked. All the time, City Mouse replied with a shrug. But the food is worth it, right? Country Mouse wasn't so sure. After spending a few more days in the noisy, dangerous city, she missed the quiet and safety of her meadow. She longed for the soft breeze, the chirping crickets, and the simple meals of fresh grains. So, after a heartfelt goodbye to City Mouse, Country Mouse returned to her peaceful life in the countryside. She was happy to be back where the air was fresh and the only sounds were those of nature. City Mouse, too, enjoyed his life in the city with its excitement and fine dining. He loved the hustle and bustle, even with the occasional danger. And so, the two mice learned that while they loved each other, they were happiest in their own worlds, one in the peace of the countryside, and the other in the excitement of the city. The End <laughs>